A massive thanks goes out to Be Quiet, Corsair, Eco Waterblocks, Inwin, and Sapphire for sponsoring our coverage at Computex 2019. So we're here at the MSI booth now. Uh, again, we're focusing on the X570 stuff. Now, one of the things that we're seeing with this chipset is that the partners like Asus, Gigabyte, MSI are bringing their flagship ranges from Intel over to AMD. Uh, so it's clear that they're pretty excited about the new chipset. On that note, MSI has the MEG godlike board for the chipset. Uh, so this is the one that's going to have pretty much all the features that MSI wants to chuck at it. Uh, we're not expecting it to be cheap. They won't tell us the price, but the Z390 board is about £550 in the UK. Uh, so we're going to probably see about £600 or more, who knows. Uh, one of the things uh, about X570 that keeps cropping up is the fan on the chipset. And part of this is because the, the TDP of the chipset is actually higher than it was for the previous generation. Uh, this is partly due to the PCIe Gen 4 connectivity, uh, but it is leading to motherboard manufacturers having to cool down the chipset with normally with fans. There's one or two boards that don't have fans, but typically you do get a fan. Uh, now the response to having a fan has not really been great, but uh, what MSI is uh, advertising with this board is the fact that the blades are a patented design and the fan will not always be on, it will turn on and off. Now we're not sure yet if that's going to be a common feature across other boards, but with this board we know that it is, and you can also customise the, the temperature at which it turns on in BIOS as well. Staying with the topic of cooling, there is a heat pipe connecting all three heat sinks, so you've got the, the two VRM ones and the PCH one here. There's also plenty of cooling for the three M.2 slots, uh, and these are double-sided coolers. So if you've got a double-sided components on your SSD, then that should help keep them a lot cooler than they otherwise would. Other features of note include uh, dual 8-pin CPU power sockets. So that's going to give plenty of juice to the 12-core CPUs and any that have you know, maybe even more cores in the future. On the I.O. panel, you have a 2.5G Ethernet port and four USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one of which is a Type-C. Uh, you also get two right-angled USB 3 connectors there. Uh, the SATA ports are also right-angled. And up here you have a LED screen which can be customized. So that's a fairly broad overview of the features that you can expect on the X570 godlike from MSI. Uh, so having seen all of the motherboard guys now, I think the real takeaway is that, the, that all of them are bringing uh, their top-end features and design to X570. And now this is something that didn't happen with X470. So it's, uh, it's, it's showing that they've got faith in the Ryzen platform, uh, and it will be interesting to see how that plays out in the future in terms of market share and things like that. So we'll leave it there with MSI, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video.